Hi guys, it's Lori from Home Right. Today we are making a stuffed butternut squash for the pantry challenge using vegetables from our garden. So to start with, I'm removing the seeds from inside of the butternut squash. And then I'm adding a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper, and then I'm putting it into the oven, baking it at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. At the same time, I'm starting up some rice and cutting up some of the vegetables. These are some of the vegetables from our garden. Uh, I have carrots, broccoli, kale, peppers. So here I'm going ahead and adding in some freeze-dried onions and peppers into a hot pan. I want the onions to caramelize a little bit. I had reconstituted the onions and peppers by just adding a little bit of water and letting it sit for a little bit. Now I'm going ahead and adding in some of the green bell peppers. and the little bit of carrots that I had in the refrigerator. I'm just sprinkling in a little bit of garlic powder. Now I'm adding in the broccoli in the kit. I just grabbed a few things from the refrigerator. This is a little bit of Worcester sauce and a little bit of sweet honey barbecue sauce. It was still a little bit thick, so I did go ahead and add just a little bit of water into it to kind of uh, let it thin out a little. I turn the heat down a little bit. I'm adding in about a quarter cup of half and half. And then since the rice was ready, I just, I just eyeballed about, I don't know, a cup and a half of rice into the mixture. Then with the butternut squash, I am just scooping out some of the inside just to make it a little bit of like a boat. I didn't scrape it all out, but just a little bit so it was kind of a butternut squash boat. And then that extra butternut I'm mixing into the saute mixture. Adding the butternut squash into the vegetables and rice added a nice creamy texture to the uh, ingredients. Uh, this is one of those recipes you can kind of add whatever you have in the refrigerator. Um, uh, you could do this with rice, you can do this with noodles, whatever vegetables. Then I still had a little bit of half and half left over so I figured I'd just add that in. Helping to again make it nice and creamy texture. And then put them on the plate and sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. I did pop them back into the oven for about 10 more minutes to warm up. This actually turned out so delicious. It was really, really good. 